Hey everyone, welcome back to One Life to Live. Shane here, and today I'm doing an unboxing. Uh, I received uh, uh, my newest member to my collection of uh, bushcraft knives, and uh, today's knife is a stainless steel um, bushcraft knife. I think the blade is about five and one quarter inches. And uh, well, let's take a look. So here. The Amazon package. And, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get into this. There it is. It's a, a mossy oak, and as you can see, a nice box. And I'm just going to. I should have brought one of my other knives up to open the knife, but this will be fine. So the story behind this knife is uh, Amazon is ha having a special right now called Amazon Days. And last Friday, uh, I received, uh, actually I received this shirt last Friday from Amazon, and they sent me an email, and they gave me a 1,000 yen credit. Uh, so uh, just for being, I guess, a loyal customer. Um and they said it could be applied to a purchase uh, on the Amazon Day special. So uh, yesterday I logged on and camping season's coming up. And well, as you guys probably already know, I collect knives, although I haven't done, uh, this would be actually the first official video of a knife. Um, anyway, I went to the camping section and the first thing that I saw was this mossy oak uh, bushcraft knife and, uh, or camping knife. Uh, it's a purpose knife anyway and so the price was really uh it was on special it was really really cheap uh if i remember correctly i think it was 1500 or 400 and some yen which is about 14 or 15 dollars right um which is pretty cheap uh for a knife uh, and it's a full tang with a drop point um it is stainless steel i don't expect it to be um you know, super high quality, like my Shreds or, or my uh, BK Beckers by Kabar or, um, you know, uh, my Sogs or anything like that. But uh, what I do like about this knife is because it's stainless steel, I can bring this one camping and I can use it for processing, well, I hope I can anyway, for processing uh, meat, uh, cutting meat at camp, and uh, as well as it will also serve uh, other functions. So let's take a look and see what we got. Um, oh, a little bit more to the story. Oh, it's cute. It's nice. It's actually quite nice. Oh, it came with uh, oh, it came with two knives. Oh, I was not expecting that. And it's got a nice wooden handle. So, this is the knife that I ordered. And as you can see, it's a oh, it's a nice full tang construction too. Looks like, uh, and it's got a nice leather sheath to it. Oh yeah, very nice. The leather sheet is not super high quality, but you know, I mean, it's not bad, it's leather. It's real leather, yeah. And uh, let's just take, do a check on this. It holds it in well enough when it's snapped in place. So let's take a look and uh, it's got some nice jimping on the back here. A nice uh, finger toil for choking up a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, the wood's not bad. The handles, you know, I got a big hand. The handles, you can see it kind of right to the edge of my finger here. Um, so it is a little bit, the handle's a little small, but the, the knife's got some nice weight to it. And it feels, it feels pretty good, actually, overall. And the jimping on the back has got a nice grip to it. And actually, it seems like it might, I'm not sure, I'll have to check it. Um, I might be able to use this on a ferro rod. I'm not 100% sure though. It seems like it might have a, a bit of a nice edge that I can get, probably draw a good spark on it. Uh, the blade might need a little bit of work. It's semi-sharp. I wouldn't say it's super sharp. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice. And, uh, huh. I definitely was not expecting this. 
This is a surprise. So this is what would be considered like an everyday carry. And it's almost a it's almost a deep pocket deep drop pocket knife. Oh yeah, I didn't see this, so I didn't know. It's 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 light. It's got a nice locking mechanism in here, you know. It's not um, assisted, um, although I imagine as you get used to it, you could probably flip it open pretty quickly. It takes a little bit of getting used to, it, I think. And it's got um, pretty smooth wood handle, and it's actually got jimping all the way around all of the edges on it. So it's it's kind of cute. It doesn't have the name of the knife on it. So, you know, uh, you would never know that this was a mossy oak knife, but it's a nice little bonus to get. And here's the here's the deal with this knife, okay? So it was that price, and then I had to pay maybe some shipping. And I had the thousand, uh, thousand yen credit. I'll read this to you in just a moment. Don't know if you can see that. Anyway, um... And I had some uh, Amazon points uh, that I had accumulated over the last year on the on my account, and I applied the points and the credit that Amazon gave me, and uh, I ended up spending seventy-five yen to buy this. Mossy oak. It's got the nice, you know, mossy oak logo on it. The leather is embossed with mossy oak. So, I mean, yeah, the knife has got a hollow grind um, to it. It's uh, quite nice for uh, preparing food at camp and cutting meat. Uh, and if it retains that edge for a while, uh, stainless steel can be hard, so you never know. It might be actually be a, a good, a really good quality knife, just really cheap. But at any rate, um, it's also good for making feather sticks for starting fires. Uh, this could be used for uh, uh, batoning, splitting splitting uh, lumber for firewood. Um, it's not going to be much of a chopper. There's not really much there to hold on to. Um, it doesn't really feel like it's you know meant for that. But the handle's not too bad. Just it's got a little bit too much of a forward weight to it. So I feel it's a little bit kind of awkward when chopping with it so yeah i wouldn't use it for uh chopping wood but definitely uh for splitting uh, and food processing and I, I don't know how strong the tip is so uh, it's fairly thin you know um i'd say it's about three eighths of an inch here and it goes down to less than less than, probably probably down to one eighth of an inch so I wouldn't be doing any uh, digging and trying to pry lumber apart or anything like that with it uh, because it, I think it would just bend, possibly even break. Uh, so, you know, I mean, know what the knife is useful for and keep it within its limits, right? So this knife uh, basically ended up, after the Amazon uh, credit and the um, uh, points that I had, um, after everything was taken into account, this knife, plus this little bonus knife that I didn't even know about, nice surprise, uh, came out to be 75 yen, which is basically the same as 75 cents. I think, you know, for 75 cents, I could care less if this knife was to break in a year, you know, or rust. I mean, for 75 cents, this is going to get some good work in this year and I don't know we'll see I'll come back to this definitely next year and we'll let you know you know how this thing uh, has held its own with my other knives and if it's uh, if it's a keeper or if it's showing signs of wearing or anything like that this might be a little gold mine we don't know yet this is the first time I've had a mossy oak let's take a look at the card here um, it says dear valued customer thank you for selecting great star tools our customers are our top priority and we strive for 100% customer satisfaction that's cool by delivering the best in performance quality and service we shall soon see 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Again, thank you for your purchase. We look forward to serving you again in the future. Sincerely, Great Star Tools. That's a nice little card. I hope that little card, the guarantee they put on there and that, uh, work out for this knife because, you know, if it does, I can see everybody, even for the price of $15, if it's as, as good as uh, it looks right now, um, this may just be a very good value for money, right? Stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. One Life to Live, Shane here. I really appreciate. Uh, please remember to uh, subscribe, like, and share. And uh, I really appreciate your support always. I know that not all my videos are uh, what you're looking for. Some are here for barbecue. Some are here for cooking. Some are here for my dogs. Some are here just to see me battle on. I don't know. Um, anyway, I really appreciate appreciate it. Uh, my weight loss journey is still going on. I'm, I'm working on my diet right now. And uh, much love to everybody and everybody going through their own struggles and everybody who's creating their own YouTube channel. Uh, I wish much luck to everybody. I'm definitely there with you. Uh, I love your stories, and um, I will see you guys really soon. Peace. See you next time.